Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into medical school and other professional programs. And welcome back to MCAT Bytes. Today, we're going to explore Lazarus theory, also known as the cognitive appraisal theory of emotion. This theory was developed by psychologist Richard Lazarus, and it plays a crucial role in understanding how we experience emotions. Let's dive into this high yield psych -social topic together. Let's begin with what is Lazarus theory? Well, the Lazarus theory posits that our emotions are determined by our cognitive appraisal of a situation. In other words, it's our interpretation of an event that leads to an emotional response. According to this theory, the way we think about and evaluate a situation influences how we feel about it. The first step is cognitive appraisal. Cognitive appraisal involves evaluating the significance of an event based on its relevance to our well-being. This evaluation process can be both conscious and unconscious. Lazarus identified two types of appraisal, primary and secondary appraisal. Let's start with primary appraisal. Primary appraisal is our initial evaluation of an event. So primary, think first. It's the first thing we're doing. We assess whether the event is irrelevant, benign, positive, or stressful. If we appraise an event as stressful, we further evaluate whether it poses a threat, a challenge, or a harm slash loss. Secondary appraisal involves evaluating our resources and options for coping with the event. During this phase, we assess our ability to manage the demands of the situation. This appraisal influences the intensity of our emotional response. Really, it's just a yes or a no. We can handle it or we can't handle it. So to recap here, primary appraisal, that's when we're going to figure out how bad the situation is. And secondary is we're going to figure out how can we handle this or to say, can we or can we not handle this? The interaction between primary and secondary appraisals determines our overall emotional experience. For example, if we appraise a situation as a challenge and believe we have adequate resources to cope, we might feel excited or motivated. However, if we see it as a threat and doubt our ability to handle it, we might feel anxious or fearful. So how did Lazarus figure this out? Well, to support his theory, he conducted experiments where participants were shown stressful films while their psychological responses were measured. Participants were told to appraise the films as non-threatening, exhibited lower stress responses compared to those who received no such instruction. This experiment demonstrated the power of cognitive appraisal in shaping our emotional reactions. Some of the practical implications of Lazarus' theory interface with stress management and emotional regulation tactics. It suggests that by changing how we appraise situations, we can alter our emotional responses. This principle is foundational in cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, which helps individuals reframe negative thought patterns to manage emotions more effectively. The MCAT loves referencing CBT, so you wanna make sure you know what that is. Let's go through an example to solidify this concept. Imagine you receive a surprising amount of work from your professor. Through primary appraisal, you determine the workload is stressful. With secondary appraisal, you assess your ability to compete it on time. Which of the following best describes your likely emotional response according to Lazarus' theory? A, you feel indifferent because you don't think the workload is relevant to you. B, you feel anxious because you doubt your ability to handle the workload. C, you feel motivated because you believe you can manage the workload effectively. Or D, you feel happy because you enjoy being challenged by difficult tasks. Take a couple moments, think about it, and we'll go into the answer. Three, two, one, coming at you with the answer. The answer is C. If you believe you have the skills and time management to handle the workload, you might feel challenged and motivated. Now let's do example problem two here. Suppose you're about to give a presentation. During primary appraisal, you assess the situation as potentially stressful. In secondary appraisal, you recall past successes and feel prepared. You might feel experience, excitement, and confidence. If you focus on past failures and feel unprepared, you might feel fear and dread. Based on the Lazarus theory, what is the most likely emotional response if you believe you are well prepared for the presentation? Anxiety, because you fear public speaking. Confidence, because you feel ready and recall past successes. Indifference, because you don't care about public speaking. Sadness, because you just like presentations. Again, take a few moments to think about this, come up with an answer. And in three, two, one, I'm gonna give it to you. Answer is B. If you believe you are well prepared and recall past successes, you are likely to feel confident. This is getting right into the secondary appraisal of the Lazarus theory of emotion. You know that you should be successful, but you're going to feel pretty good about it. You're going to take it on. Truly, the key for recognizing Lazarus theory when it comes to the MCAT is that primary versus secondary appraisal. It is the only theory of emotion that does this. To summarize our video here, the Lazarus theory emphasizes the role of cognitive appraisal in our emotional experiences. By understanding and applying this theory, we can better manage our emotions and reactions to various situations. 
like a stressful MCAT exam. This concept is also essential for the MCAT psych so section, so make sure you grasp the components and implications of cognitive appraisal. I recommend making Anki cards based on primary and secondary appraisal specifically. Thank you so much for watching this episode of MCAT Bytes. I know this overview of the Lazarus theory will help you with your MCAT prep, and I want to thank you so much for watching our video, and I will see you next time.